It's here with the bright lights where people are sampling, sipping, and gulping their share of 140 different craft beers from all around New York State. Well, you always start off, you check the nose, you smell it, get the aroma in there, get the effervescence. You want to be able to smell the beer because that's going to really play with your palate, basically your, your taste buds, your tongue. Now, if you're not used to the bold flavors and higher alcohol content of craft beer, you might consider this guideline. And ultimately what you want to do is you want to get, get some training wheel beers. Go with a Kolsch, go with a lager, go with things that are, that, that, that are more fitting to your, or suitable to your palate, and then expand from there. There's enough food and drink here to satisfy a 400-person army. But tonight, it's an army of craft beer drinkers that have taken over. With these beers, there's a lot of variety, and you can really determine the difference between what you're drinking. When trying to define craft beer, each beer lover has a unique interpretation. You can taste the pumpkin, but it doesn't feel like it's trying to taste like a piece of pie. So, does that mean it's like a raw? Pumpkin. 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 Or something less tangible? It kind of tastes like uh, November. A little bit of magic. Simply put. Oh, this is really good, pretty balanced, good malt. However you describe it, you can be certain that. Craft beer is more flavorful, it's more, it's richer, uh, and this kind of a craft event allows us to meet the brewers themselves. Making it special because. This guy opened up in 1786, his family has been brewing. It's all about local flavors and drinking local. The theme of this year's event. Sean Spratt, NCC News.